I was really excited to see Bob Marley, One Love, which is the biopic of, obviously, Bob Marley. And based on the trailer, I was excited for it. I didn't necessarily know what to expect, other than that, obviously, it's going to showcase uh, Bob Marley's life. Now, the movie itself, unlike most biopics, it doesn't have, like, uh, here's how he started, um, here's how he got to where he is type of thing. It picks a very specific moment of his life, right? And it fills you in on those things of, you know, his upbringing and things like that, and, and obviously kind of the epilogue of, you know, his death and everything else, and what kind of his legacy post his death has been. But really, you know, the movie focuses, I think, very smartly on on a few years of his life, you know, that were sort of the culmination of everything that he had been building towards. And seeing that uh, come to fruition, I think, is a great way because you really get the depth, you know, of what he's struggling rather than just kind of these surface level scenes of like, okay, and then this happened, and this happened, and this happened, right? We really explore, um, you know, his his struggles. And one of the things I thought the movie did really well was employing these techniques where we get the internal thinking of Bob, right? So it's truly done really well, crafted in that way where we always know where his headspace is at throughout the movie. Now, overall, really, really well done. Certainly well acted. Like everyone is just firing all cylinders. So truly great to see. Um, there was one tiny portion in the movie where there's like this thing that culminates and then it's resolved rather quickly. Um, I mean, it's handled to a degree nice, but I think part of the fallout of what happens, you know, there's kind of bypass just based on like, you know, this very sentimental moment. So, and I, and I think they maybe had that, you know, that scene or those scenes to like really get there. But for the sake of time, you know, they probably, you know, decided to chop that out. I don't know. I'm just speculating. But was it, you know, the thing that like derailed it? Absolutely not. It was just kind of a nitpick of mine for the movie. But besides that, you know, it's truly wonderful. We get, you know, these flashbacks. And even though it doesn't ha have like a thing that comes up, like, you know, here's the year um, or here's how old Bob was at the time. You kind of always know the time and space you're, you're in, which I really appreciate it. So um, it's, it's a very moving movie. Uh, it's inspiring. And you know, one of the things it does really, really well is it incorporates Bob's music, right? That's uh, when I talk about getting in his headspace, that's also a big part of it is obviously the music is a reflection of what he's going through. And so that's one of the tools they use to employ that. And it's done in a very effective way, but also a way that's not detracting from the movie of like, hey, we're just going to now do a song. It's very much part and parcel of everything and keeps the narrative going. So I appreciate that, I, you know, just top to bottom overall, like really, really well done. So kudos to them. I would recommend it. You know, you're not going to get, like I said, the full life story of Bob Marley, but you will get and understand why he was important to people. So um, for those reasons, you know, I would encourage you to go check it out. If and when you do, let me know what you think.